Hello and welcome. My name is Jackson and this is my Montana Grizz Dynasty. Today we're going to be playing against Washington State and if you haven't watched any of my videos before I'll give you a quick rundown of how this season has started out. We opened up against Texas who was ranked number one and we played them in the Chick-fil-A kickoff game. We beat them in overtime on the last play of the game. We went for two. We got a walk-off two-point conversion and upset the number one team in the nation. Last week we played against Oregon State at Oregon State and this week we're going to play Washington State at Washington State in Pullman taking on Wazoo recruiting you're not missing much we only threw 100 points at a guy that's our defensive tackle that we really want from Texas Texas is our pipeline state for some weird reason so we really want to get him and we're in the lead for everybody else so let's go ahead and get into the game here I want to show you all the uniforms real quick as I always do I like the gray. We're going to go all gray, give them the script helmet, and everything else is fine. And we're going to go all maroon. Here's the maroon helmet. You get to see some of the other ones. And the maroon socks with the silver cleats. I'll see y'all on the field. All right, so Washington State did nothing with their opening possession, so we're going to take the ball here and see what we can do with it. Gilman gets a couple. We're going to see what we can do in the passing game. It's third and long here. We need to throw the ball to convert, and we got Burgeon wide open. So we got him his first reception of the game. Gilman with a nice strong run there. As long as we can get six yards, we're happy. We're going to let him run the ball again. I think he can get four yards here, especially if we run it from under center. A little draw play. Nets him. Oh, look at all the green grass he has to run. And he's all the way down there to the Pac-12 logo on the 25-yard line. All right, we're going to have to scramble here with McDowell. And he can't get, oh, he did get back to the line of scrimmage, so we got a one-yard rush there. It's not a sack. We're going to make sure they know how to guard the counter here. Gilman with a nice slip on the tackle. He gets one, so we're going to try and throw it to him here. It looks like we got Ostimo in there, actually. Ostimo can't quite weave his way through traffic so it'll bring up fourth down here we're gonna kick that field goal though and let's see if we make it oh I think we shanked it now nah, we just hooked it in so we start off with points on the board that's good so Washington State knotted the game up at three to three so we're gonna hand the ball off here see if we can score take the lead we got all our wide receivers out here and we want to throw it deep but if we can't we're gonna throw it to Fonts who's wide open on the side shakes a tackle and gets out of bounds nice that's what we like to see let's try and run it on the ground with McDowell here if not we'll just hand it off to Gilman they're gonna take McDowell pick your poison pretty much and McDowell gets five that's not terrible we're going to run the ball one or two more times to see if we can get another big run play. And if not, we're just going to throw the ball, and that's what it's looking like. They've been guarding the run pretty well, so we're going to try and throw the ball here. I want to throw it deep, but if we can't, we're just going to try and hit somebody on the sideline who's open. We got our man Keelan for the first down. Keelan White, 14 yards for his first reception. Oh, we get the outside with Gilman, and he has a nice nine-yard run. Second and one. Let's see if we can get a nice little play action here. I love Virgin on the sideline over there, but if not, we're going to hit Racanelli over the middle. We got him. Touchdown, Junior Virgin. 32 yards from the star player on offense. So they kicked another field goal, and that's nice. We like to have the lead here going into the half, but if we can get a two-possession lead going into the half, that's the best-case scenario. Nice. Schaefer on the sideline. We got our tight end on the numbers. We like to see him get the ball. 
We always want to mix him in a little bit. He's better for blocking. But Schaefer is a big body, and we like him running open across the field any time of day. We got Racanelli wide open as well. And we don't have to rush anything here. We have full timeouts. So let's go ahead and run this wheel route and run out to the sideline with Gilman. He's going to follow Gilman to the end zone. So we're going to head there and dive for the pylon. And we are in with Clifton McDowell with another rushing touchdown to his total in this season. All right, so they sent it away to start the second half, and it was out of the back of the end zone. We could not return, so we're going to pick it up here at the 25. Hand off to Gilman. Let's see what he does. Shakes and bakes for a first down, and he, oh, he just wills his way for a couple more yards there. I love running the ball with Gilman. I'd rather do that than, you know, take a shot throwing a pick any time of day, but I'm going to try and make this a little bit more entertaining. We're going to see if we can get him right here with a spin. Another spin, and Gilman has another first down on first down. I think his last stat at the bottom of the screen said 7.7 a carry. So I told you anytime we can get six yards a carry is good. Negative five is bad. Oh, yeah. I think we got him. Oh, no. We didn't throw it far enough. And Burgeon thought he had another one. All right, we got a third and 15. That means we need big yards on this play. So let's see what we can get here. If we can get close to the first down, that's good, too. But we want to convert. We're going to run, and we got the first. We don't even need our punter. First down, you already know what they like. They love when we run the counter. We're going to try and hit him over the top here. I like Keelan for his first touchdown of the game. Yep, touchdown. <laughs> I saw that cornerback run towards midfield, and I was like, oh, easy. <laughs> so Clifton McDowell has thrown two tutties this game. So I guess they fumbled the ball. And we missed an extra point, so that's why the score looks like that. And that's why we got the ball this far down the field. And we're not going to be able to get much points there, but we're looking good so far in this game. I don't think Washington State's going to be able to bring it back with how good our offense is. But, I mean, I, anybody can make mistakes. We're all human, you know. I hopefully, hopefully I don't make too many mistakes. I wanted to throw it to X there. But we just couldn't make it to the end zone. We got good yardage anyways. We're going to try and hit him with that inverted veer. See what happens. I think we can extend our lead to three. Make it three possessions. And McDowell is in. He looks like Cam Newton running the goal line. I love using him. He's just fast enough. And he can throw the ball just good enough as well. So Washington State makes it a game. And their crowd's into it now. You know, they're getting a little bit louder. And they stop us on first down. They seem to have adjusted to be able to stop that read option. And that's going to end the third quarter. So after three, is looking like we got it in hand. But we'll see. We have a long way to go. Gilman gets it, and he has nothing going but a yard. At least we get to use our kicker, and this is a perfect spot up big. We have to go for it on fourth down every week. Let's see. Can we get it? He's got his man. Danik has room to run, and he makes a move on a man. He shakes a tackler, and he's at the 15, a 63-yard fake punt. Wow. Jason White is unbelievable. Look at him. I'm here, right here. That, he didn't even have to jump up. Last week, he dropped one. This time, he takes it for even more yards than he would have gotten last time. Wow. All right, first and 10. Not quite first and goal, but we are in the red zone. I like Keelan White. And he's out of bounds. He almost had the touchdown. That would have been his second. All right, this should be an easy touchdown. But sometimes 
It's never easy on NCAA. Let's try and get Burgeon our touchdown, and we can. We got Junior Burgeon two touchdowns today. We got Keelan White one, and I think we, I believe we ran for a touchdown. Wow. So Texas is a good team, after all. They, their one loss is to us. We've already established that. But the fact that Texas is still out there winning games looks good for us, you know? We don't want to beat the brakes off of everybody. And I thought we had Keelan White with room to run after that catch, but it's all good. We'll run the ball here on second down. We need to run the ball anyways. That was essentially our two-minute warning. If you watch NFL and there's nothing happening there, I'm surprised they don't use a timeout. We're going to go ahead and throw the ball here because why not? We're up big. We, if we can get a nice close game that's competitive and exciting at the at the finish, that's awesome. But if we can handle a team and help our seeding for the playoffs, that's good too. So we already converted one. We're gonna give y'all another one. It's entertaining to me. I love seeing fake punts. And we have room to run. We're gonna shake the punt returner. And Keelan White has another fourth down conversion. I apologize, all you Washington State fans. I like Washington State fans. I like Washington State a little bit. But we've been putting it on in this game. And I think it's well deserved. Last game we beat Oregon State pretty good. But we needed to, you know, hand it to somebody. And I think Washington State's a good team to hand it to, you know. We're going to have some tougher games. We have a bye week next week, and then we play Oregon. So, oh, if we wouldn't have stumbled going through the hole there, we would have had a whole lot more yards. Jason White for his hat trick. We got him. Let's see if we can get a touchdown on this last one. Shakes a man, but he just can't get there. Bo Dantic with his second reception of the game on a fourth down. And your Montana Grizzlies, who you came here to watch. Hopefully you didn't come here to watch Washington State, or else you obviously have no idea what we're doing on this channel. On the flip side of things, Montana goes up 3-0. We should be more, we should be higher than 15th now. But I had fun in this one. If y'all want to see more, like, subscribe. And comment in the video what y'all want to see from this channel. The next video is probably going to be us playing against Oregon or something special I edit for y'all. And it's probably going to be something special I edit for y'all. I may take a break from Montana, but, you know, I want to keep uploading videos, keep being consistent. I don't want to go more than three days without posting a video. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, y'all stay blessed and peace.